this is the project. All right, let's enlarge this a little bit. Technically, there's really not that much that's wrong with this image, except that it is a little flat. And uh, there's some foliage here that has, you know, it, it just looks wintry. There's some dead looking branches here, and things are looking reddish, and sort of past fall or whatever. This is winter in Baton Rouge. <laughs> And let's see, um, so if we analyze this picture a little bit, we have a point of interest here, the Coca-Cola sign, and this stands out pretty nicely, this little palm tree, and this little palm tree stands out nicely. And we have some reds here that are a little flat, and basically we just want to improve this image a little bit. The sky's a little gray, it's blue, but it's when you see the end it's going to look kind of great in comparison so uh, we'll start this with um, applying a levels adjustment and I'm going to start with the mid-tones because I've got a nice good mid-tone selection here and I want to go for about the most medium gray which would be kind of in this patch right here. I'll click on that. <coughs> I'm going to hit the um, black point here. And I'm going to hit the white point up here. Now, in the Coca-Cola sign. Okay, that improved things a little bit. Um, the original, the adjustment. Not bad. Alright, continuing on. If I hold down the Option key and apply this, you'll notice that when I get right to the border between the two uh, layers here, I get this overlapping circle thing. And if I click the mouse, then you'll see you get this downward arrow here and basically what that's going to do is apply whatever this is to the unmasked portions of this layer. Right now I don't have any masked portions. Doing this even without the mask uh, attaches this uh, layer adjustment in such a way that if I turn off just this one layer here it turns them both off you see this gets dimmed and that's very useful sometimes all right so we've gotten this far in this image and it's looking pretty good but there's still some problems with it this looks pretty pale you've got all this foliage that's you know turned because the, of the season and um, I just want to bring some of this stuff out and you may have seen in other tutorials and things that if you do a, like a selective color let's go to select color range and select the sky and stuff uh, okay That's not exactly what I wanted to do. Let's create a new layer. Let's hold down the option key and just drag this up to the new layer. And we can clear this out. Um, select it, click on it, and select it. You'll see this darker outline around here and command delete and that will clear the mask. So I have this mask here and I want to invert it and if I go in with say um, a color let's 
hold down the option key and get the eyedropper tool pick a color and I start drawing in here I'm going to increase this I'll change this mode to color this doesn't always work all that well you get bleed points and everything like that and when you try and clean it up well it's not too bad you do that approach it's not too bad all right I, I want to show you a different way of doing that let's turn this off for a minute add a new layer I'm going to go to a very, say about 92% gray here. And I'm going to change this to linear burn. And I'm just going to start painting. Now I'm going to go down here, hold down the option key, and select solid color. I'm going to click the use previous layer to create a clipping mask. And I'm going to pick a green. Okay. Okay, I need a mask for this layer. So what I'm going to do is go into the channels and I'm going to take a look at which ones are the good ones. Blue is usually going to be the best if you want to isolate the sky, so hold down the command key and click on your blue channel icon. Reset this, go back to layers and just click on this and add the mask. Now, invert it. Hold down the command key, type I. There you go. Okay, you come back here, paint some more. Click on your mask and eliminate anything you don't want. Okay, type a D to reset this. X to switch foreground and background. Come around here and clean up the mess. Okay, it's looking pretty good.